Okay there, right. Welcome this Wednesday morning, morning, or is it afternoon? Well, I don't know when it's going to get put out. It's Wednesday anyway. Um, filming a bit later than normal, so the light isn't great. Uh, do the best I can. Just a couple of quick ones for the Wednesday. And we'll see how they go. Um, I'm going to touch on a band first. did say in the intro video that uh, during the course of coming days, weeks and months, I'll drop you in a few bands, a few songs, a few... A uh, few things that you may not have seen before, may not have heard of, may not know anything about. Um, I'm into all kinds of music, and I do mean all kinds of music. But from being a kid of about 15 or 16, up until this day, I've very much been into rock music. It won't suit a lot of people, so those that I've got no interest at all probably leave this video now. Um, but I've got a band there that many of you may not have heard of. Cracking, cracking band. Loud, yes. Heavy, as in really heavy, no. Musical, yes. Musically different than the norm. Um, a band with an absolutely great sound. Um, brilliant band live. Really, really good live. Um, I've seen them probably on five, six occasions. First time was many, many years ago. The last time was a good few years ago now. I would imagine what will it be? 13, 14 years ago. They're not probably as good as they was then because they've all got much older now they'll be well into the 60s and many of the original band members have died uh, but the main man is still there many of you will know the main man from film um, I'll tell you who they are I'll tell you a quick story about them and then I'll give you a couple of songs to maybe have a listen to see what you think uh, they're a band called Rose Tattoo uh, they're out of Australia uh, the reason for this video is my, uh, my lad, my son I've got a son there He's just come back from Australia. He got sent there with work um, a few weeks ago. He's done a month in Australia with work, which has been great for him. He's only in late 20s. He's never been before. It's a place I've always wanted to go myself and never been, so I'm a little bit envious of, of him, if you like. Um, he's had a great time there, worked with some lovely people who he'd never really met before. And whilst he was there, he'd been there about five or six days. I've been online. I, I, what made me do it, I don't know. But I noticed that Rosa 2 were in the same. I think, where was he in? Oh, good grief. I don't know. Well, it'll come to me in a moment where he was. I should be able to remember, and I can't. I want to say Melbourne, but I don't think it was Melbourne. No, it wasn't Melbourne. Anyway, it'll come to me. But they were on in that area, and I'm told, because he looked into it, they were within about 20 minutes of where he was working from. Anyway, he never went to see them. Uh, they're not a massive band anymore. Well, they probably never really was. Uh, they'd have probably been playing in biker bars, um, but there's nothing wrong with bikers. Bikers are, are, are great as long as you know you're fine with them. They're fine with you. They're not people all over trouble as as many would think is the case. They they're great people, bikers. There's no problem there at all. Um, they'd have been brilliant to see. It'd have loved them. They're Australian, as I say. They're very similar in some respects to ACDC. I've always thought they were better than ACDC. I really will be in the minority there because nobody will think that, but I did. Um, what I will say is the ACDC with Bon Scott, the very early version, um, there was a time there when they put a couple of LPs out, they were absolutely phenomenal. Um, since that time, I don't think they've been the same band. I've seen them with Brian Johnson, nothing, nothing against him at all, but much preferred Bon Scott. Um, Rose Satu, I thought, were great. They were brilliant live, but what I really like about them is the songs are sort of very diverse. I love that. And another thing that I love about them is they play with a lot of slide guitar. It's something that you don't hear of much in music. You don't see much of slide guitar. You know, it's 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 not the norm. And Rosa to play with slide guitar and in fact heavily influenced by it. I'll give you three songs of theirs. Let me just look to see what which ones will give you. I'll give you off the list. Ooh, we'll go Scad for Life, Rock and Roll Outlaw, and Bad Boy for Love. If it, ever you get the chance, well, get the chance. Go on YouTube, listen to those three songs. Ideally, listen to the, the original versions, the studio edits. That They're the ones where you probably won't see them singing it, singing it live. They're brilliant. Absolutely. Three fantastic songs. Give them a go. You might not necessarily be into rock music. I, I wouldn't class them. They're not like really, really loud and really, really heavy. You know, uh, they're very musical. Um, and they're great. They're really good. Going back to Angry Anderson, by the way. Going back to the lead singer. He's called Angry Anderson. Many of you may remember him for singing the 
the, he had a number one many, many years ago. I think it was like a love song. I think it was from Neighbours. It was that one or the other Aussie sub. I'm pretty sure it was Neighbours. It's a song I don't really know, although I've heard it before. And ones that don't know him from that will definitely know him from the Mad Max film. I think he was in, I think it might have been three, Mad Max 3. That is probably, is it Beyond the Thunderdome? It's the one with Tina Turner in anyway. Uh, angry, I mean, he's angry and what a name for a guy that's so small. He's only probably, I mean, I'm six foot one. He's probably about five foot six. He might not even be that. But he's brilliant. Got a cracking look, cracking personality. And the story was about them. When I was about 17 or 18, they came on the first tour over to Great Britain. Uh, it'd be the late 70s. And me and a few friends, I can't remember which friends they were. Uh, I keep saying in these videos, and I'll, I'll always say my memory's terrible. I don't remember which friends I went with, but six, eight or ten of us went to watch them. I think they were playing in, well, they were playing in Liverpool. It might have been, if they had a university, a Liverpool University. It might be what the what is the academy now. It may have been the academy then. It was something like that. It wasn't, it wasn't the Empire. It wasn't a big hall. It might have been the university. And we went to see them and it was really really weird an hour before the concert we're going up the street I've, I've got him headed somewhere near matthew street but maybe it wasn't I, I don't know where it was and all of a sudden one of us looks up and we said oh my god they're up there and sort of three of the band members are hanging out of a window a second or third floor window and we go whoa the lads how are you we're going to watch it tonight and they'd never been over to britain before we didn't know them didn't know ourselves and in that aussie accent oh good on you guys good on you do you want a beer and they threw down beers for us all, you know, they were all drinking beer. I don't know what it was, and they threw down a can for all of us. Brilliant of them. They didn't need to do that, and it's something I've always remembered, although I can't remember where it was or where they played other than it was in Liverpool. Well, that's what they did for us. And I've always loved Angry Anderson and the boys. And maybe somebody there that's never seen them before or heard of them before from England, give it a go, have a look. If this ever gets to Australia, and I don't know why it would, and you've never watched them before, go to watch them. They are fantastic and angry is absolutely brilliant okay that's all